was a slugfest, it was colorful, and a lot of it was about Newark. The most common bird that you see in Newark right now is the crane because there's so many cranes putting up steel with all the new buildings. Well, let me just, the only birds in Newark are the vultures. The political hacks that are picking away at the cock carcasses of the taxpayers of that city. Booker framed the election his way. And this is a chance for New Jersey to send a message. The first election during this shutdown, we can send a message directly to Washington. Do we want to send more Tea Party people down there? Mayor, I knew that your consultants, your strategists, and your, um, your acting coaches would tell you to use the word Tea Party as much as possible. So I have thousands of people across the United States of America who are going to donate $10 to this campaign every time you say Tea Party. Larnigan called Obamacare a threat to the nation, called the president a danger overseas, and offered his own frame. I, I don't know if my opponent is running against me or running against Barack Obama. Both. Um, but the reality... Because you're one in the, the same. The reality is, the reality is... After Booker touted all the development going on in Newark, Lonigan complained it comes from tax incentives awarded to Booker's corporate friends. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars of our tax dollars poured into corporate subsidies for the folks that he gets to meet when he's out partying in Hollywood and San Francisco. He talks about Hollywood folks. Look who he has. He has three Tea Party people coming in. <laughs> Sarah Palin endorsing him. Three people, Rand Paul endorsing him. And who's that third person? Oh yeah, Rick Perry. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Perry endorsing him. On issue after issue, they clashed on same-sex marriage. Marriage between a man and a woman is the greatest institution ever devised by the mind of man to raise a child, and that's what this is about. This is the problem. He says he supports liberty, but you can't be free to marry who you want. He says he supports liberty, but he wants politicians getting between a woman and her doctor about making their own health care decisions. On environmental regulation. That I have a Passaic River running through my city in multiple towns in New Jersey, seeing the kind of pollution and contaminants that won't even allow people to go in there and swim and ruin industries like clamming and others. Trust me, we need to make sure there's protections. You may not be able to swim in that river, but it's probably, I think, because of all the bodies floating around from shooting victims in your city. Oh, my God. You know, the fact is... Oh, my God. Afterward, Lonigan was modest. I never feel I do good enough, um, but I understand it went pretty well from the, from the other side of the podium. Then changed his tune. I just clobbered it in, in this debate. And Booker? I was very happy with uh, how Lonigan represented himself because he, tonight he told his truth for everybody to see. They didn't call each other radical tonight as they have before, but perhaps more than ever, Booker and Lonigan demonstrated how radically different they are. The election is in six days. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron in Glassboro.